Hey guys. Hey everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hey Marie, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're on I'm trying to get this focused, right? Sorry, it's so close to my face. Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I hope everyone can hear me okay. I know Periscope has had, hey, good to see you. Hey everybody, hey, leave your name too in the comments if I don't know your name. Um, Floor de Luz Shop, thanks for joining in everybody. Hey, well, I have a lot to be doing right now. My kids have had the craziest day, and sometimes I just feel like I'm just going to periscope, even though I don't really have time. So, Allison Howard, thanks for joining. Nasari, what a pretty name. Thanks for joining, and I have two kids at home right now. My oldest is in kindergarten, and my other two might just want to pop in, so we'll see how that goes. But, um... Maddie from Miami, thanks for joining in guys. Hey, my name is Shannon and I own a company called Plum Street Prints. You can follow along on Instagram and if you want to share this with your followers, thanks Marie, thank you so much. Um, Hannah from Vegas, oh, so hard to focus and read the comments too. But um, hey guys, oh thanks Allison Howard, thank you so much for your sweet note. Um, so yeah, I am on Instagram at Plum Street Prints. Give me some hearts if you can hear me or leave your name in the comments um, if you're new here. I decided to jump on Periscope and I usually don't scope on Tuesdays, but I had a phone call with a friend earlier who's starting a business and I love talking to my friends who's starting businesses. You guys chat with your friends about your business ideas. I want to hear it if you do. Um, it's so fun to bounce ideas off other people and not feel like you're just in a silo with your business. So, okay, that's fine, hun. My daughter, my daughter just got home from ballet. Yes, Allison, um, totally, I know. It's just so helpful to talk. And I actually do have a business call once a week with one of my best friends who owns another company. We talk every week um, just about business ideas and collaboration ideas and even accounting and things like that. So I think I would recommend that for sure. If you're just starting a business, try to find a friend who is maybe done it a little longer than you or maybe at the same rate as you and just try to talk with them and bounce ideas off other people maybe than your family I think that that can be super helpful so um, anyway okay so I was talking to a friend earlier today and we were talking about her new business and I realized I had had this phone conversation with so many people before just about their new business and um, I wanted to talk about some collaboration ideas with you guys today so um, a couple friends that have recently started businesses have called me wanting to chat about, you know, how can I grow my following? How can I um, get more exposure? And one of the first things I always say is you have to collaborate. And it doesn't mean um, that you have to be big before you can collaborate. I think you can collaborate with people when you're at any size of company. And if you have any awesome collabs that you've done too, put them in the comments. I want to see what you guys are doing. But um, I. I was actually just the other week asked to be a part of this book that's being created with a hundred collaborative ideas and I was asked to contribute 10 to that book and so it really got me thinking like we need to be talking about this more. There are so many great ways to collaborate. I don't know if Marie's still on here but we're working on a collaboration right now which I'm super excited about and I'm going to be emailing you later tonight with the rest of our fun ideas. So. Um, anyway, all right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the collaboration, yes, Marie, um, that we did um, a couple summers ago with about four or five different bloggers. You need to do this more. Yeah, it's just reach out to people. Sometimes it's out of your comfort zone, but just do it. It's so fun, actually. I feel like I have a lot of online friends that I've never met just from doing this. It's kind of fun, but um, anyway, hey, Lauren, thanks for joining. Yes, me too. Is that me too to online friends? Yeah, I don't know. What MJ Shepard, let me know more about that. But um, so we did a design collaboration with about four or five bloggers a couple of summers ago with Amber Fillerup. Oh yeah, collaborating more. Amber Fillerup of Barefoot Blonde, which I know you guys have probably all heard of her. She has the beautiful hair and braids and she's um, she's a great blogger. And with Small Fry Blog and um, who are the others that we did? Casey Weigand and Jen Sag of the With Heart Blog. If you've seen her renovation, she's been doing it's awesome. And um, we reached out to them and asked if they would come up for um, come up with designs for new phone cases that they were super interested in. So it could be any trends that they were seeing, things that they wanted to um, to have in a phone case. But they're not designers, so they went. You know, they kind of thought of the ideas, but we brought them to life. Hey, Megan, I'm so glad you're on. Thanks for joining. Um, so fun to have a friend on here. 
we're talking about collaborations, but um, we worked with some of these really well-known bloggers and they had some fun ideas for different designs they wanted to see on phone cases. And we brought them to life for them. If you collab with bloggers, you think you need to be a blogger or can you use Instagram? No, I think you can for sure use Instagram. And I'm not, tell me what you do. I think it was Hannah. Tell me what you do. So it's kind of fun. So if you're a designer or you have a product or service, you can usually collaborate with bloggers and do giveaways or you can do something like we did where, for example, um, Amber Fillerup had, had an idea for a tropical inspired phone case and we designed that and created it and I sent her the design and she loved it and then we started selling it on our site and she directed traffic to the site um, to, to try to promote that. I'm a graphic designer, hand letter. Okay, awesome, yeah, so if you're a designer, you could work with a blogger in a lot of different ways. You could offer to help design some of their things for them. Um, you could do some type of, um, project with them. I'm not sure what they have going on, but a lot of bloggers might be working on like an ebook or something and you could offer to help with that. But I would reach out and see if there is any way that you can collaborate. So um, another way that you can do it. Hey Mitch, so glad you're on. My husband's so cute. Um, you could um, exchange ideas about... Um, hey there. Oh, my little daughter's saying, come say hi. This is Genevieve. Can you say hi? She just got back from ballet, so you want to show them your picture? Let's see. What is it? Snowman. It's snowman, yeah. It's Olaf. It's Olaf, yeah. Say hi. Hi. Can you say hi? Okay. Okay, I'll come up in your room in a minute. Okay, sweetie, go put that by my door. Thank you. I'll hang out there, on your door. Oh, yeah, go hang out on my door. That's perfect. I'll hang two snowmen. Perfect. Thank one you. on this side and one on that side. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Hey, sorry guys. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna love it. Okay. Olaf. All right, perfect. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, so I just have a list here of a couple ideas. So I'm gonna read through them. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. I'm gonna read through these ideas, and if you have any questions, I've done a lot of these, so I'm just gonna read through some ideas. So, first of all, you could do a design collaboration where you design products that are inspired by a blogger. So I think I can't. If it was Hannah, you were saying that you're a designer. So if there's something that you could design, you could letter a quote or a phrase that they would post on their blog or their account. You could do something like that if you are a designer. If you're the blogger, you could reach out to designers or a company that creates a product in some way and you guys could cross promote. Hey, Nicole, so glad you're on here. Hey, you gotta check out my beautiful necklace that I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see it, but this is um, a necklace from Bip and Bop. They have the best jewelry, so go follow Nicole um, and on Instagram. Hey there, nice to see you. I'm so glad you're on. Uh, we're just talking about collab ideas. Okay, so I was talking about a collab we did with Small Fry Blog, Amber Fillerup, um, Casey Wigand, and Jen Stag of With Heart a couple summers ago, and they um, came to, we reached out to them, and then they thought of some great ideas for phone cases, and we started selling them. And what you could do is you could have, give them a royalty for every phone case sold, or they could also sell them on their site, and you could try to figure out a way that everybody, you know, would be happy with the payment system for that. The Posh Plum, nice to see you, thanks for joining. So I'm gonna read through some ideas I have here. And like I said, I was asked to contribute the other week to a collaboration book, and it's gonna have about 100 ideas of ways to collaborate in it. And I'll share on my Instagram with you. My Instagram is at Plum Street Prints. I'll share with you guys um, when that comes out where you can get it. But. So promote each other's products is a great way. I've had a lot of companies reach out to me and they'll just say, hey, you know, will you post about my product and I'll post about yours. So that's a great way. Of course, you can do a giveaway together. That's like, you know, something that's very basic, but it does work really well. And I think um, you can get a lot of great new followers when there's interest for both the products. Um, and let me know if you guys have done anything too that you think has worked well. Um, one thing that I've seen a lot lately is guest posting, and I love that idea because I think it really helps you reach a different audience. So guest posting. And one thing that I think is awesome, um, I was just interviewed over the past couple months I've been interviewed by a couple different bloggers that have done series um, about business uh, women business owners and they've asked me about you know how I plan my days or how I run my business or how I have a business while I have kids and they've been smaller bloggers but I think it's been a great um, 
a great relationship to have this, you know, where it's like I can have a little bit of exposure for my business, but they're also getting me invested in what they're they're doing. And I found some really great other um, entre women entrepreneurs through this, and I'm really excited to help promote their brand because I love what they're doing. And so if you are new, if you're a blogger or you have a design business, you know, reach out to people. Maybe, um, I don't know if Hannah's still on here, maybe you could highlight some bloggers and you could try to, you know, talk about how design influences their days and you could post about it on your blog and um, reaching out to people is really fun in that way it helps you build a relationship and it also helps them feel an affinity for your brand or whatever um, product that you're selling or whatever you're blogging about um, one thing that I've done is really fun is doing sponsored items for workshops. So I'll have some of my products sent to a workshop and it could be like a creative workshop. It could just be like a blogger or a business workshop. And um, thanks for the hearts, you guys. And um, it's really fun to see those products get into people's hands. We sent some notebooks. We sell in our shop like these spiral, they're just like spiral notebooks. And we sent some of these to a conference. And then all of a sudden, all these people were sending me pictures that they had our notebooks, and that was just kind of fun, and it helped us reach a new audience that we hadn't reached before. Um, another thing that you can do is you can actually design a product together. So if you are working with another designer or you're working with another company that sells a similar product, you guys could do something together, and then you could sell it on each of your websites. Um, and always be sure that you have contracts in place and I will do another scope about this but I have um, if we're both selling a product and there's going to be um if there's going to be royalties involved, always make sure that you have a contract set up about like what the percentage of the royalties is going to be. Um, another thing that you can do is create a local group in your area. And I'm super excited about this. On Friday, I'm going to be meeting up with this local group here in Portland called Creative Chicks. And they uh, found out I moved to the area and they wanted me to come to this like little meetup thing that they have with creative business owners in Portland. And I'm super excited. I love to meet new people and I think it'll be a really fun way to get to know others and if you don't have something like this in your area try to start one just you know even on Instagram you can try to find people that are um, that are other women that are selling things that are in business and just reach out to them I think that that's a great way to throw ideas off each other especially if you're in different industries but you might want to get a different perspective on something that you're selling um, let me see here Okay, so one thing that is cool that I've seen lately is collaborative videos on Periscope, and that's kind of fun. Like if you're gonna do a webinar, or if you're gonna teach something like um, lettering or whatever it might be, get together with a friend that might be in your area and try to do a scope together. I think it's so fun to see people come together on scopes. I need to take my advice on this and, and do this because I think it's really fun to kind of see people in real life and how they're interacting. I need to pursue collabs. I'm a former wedding planner, current wedding educator. That's awesome, a wedding educator. I haven't heard much about that. Uh, you'll have to tell me more about that. But yeah, you would. that would be awesome. There are so many people you can collaborate with when you're in the wedding industry. One, one friend here I have is Jenny Sanders. Have over a thousand planners in a group. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Yeah, you have so many people that you could collaborate with. That's great. And I don't know if you know Jenny Sanders of Graceline. Um, she does calligraphy. She's amazing, but she's one of my friends here in Portland. And I met her just from a, a calligraphy workshop I went to. And then we went out after that and met up and everything. But um, another thing that's kind of cool that I've seen is a hashtag challenge. So um, one thing, I think someone did it the other week, so it's called Show Us Your Real Handwriting, and it was for letterers. So I don't know if the girl that did lettering is still on here, but it was for all letterers to actually just write in like their normal, like everyday handwriting, like just not lettered handwriting, which I thought was kind of a cool way to bring people together that are all in kind of like this lettering community, but may not really know each other. Um, and let me see, I think that that was one of the biggest, those are some of the biggest things, but yeah, um, phone chats, this was the last thing, I am, that sounds awesome, yes, okay, yeah, do some, that's awesome, thanks. Um, okay, so then this last thing I mentioned earlier, but every week I do, a, a, one of my best friends owns the company Mommy Mailbox. I don't know if you guys have heard of that company. It's awesome. They send out these really cute box, box, gift boxes every month with all these great goodies in them, and we do a phone chat every week, and we talk about 
everything just like okay how are you feeling in your business but also like okay help me with this like accounting question that I have what do you think about this new idea I'm doing and we're in different kind of different industries but we have very similar target audiences for our products and so that's helped a lot so those are some ideas do you think you have to collab with people who have similar sized businesses no I do not actually I think I mean reach big and try to work with people that that maybe are, have a bigger reach than you and sometimes they won't get back to you and that's fine but what if they do and I don't know if you've heard of like the hundred no principle I can't remember the the lady that started it but she talked about like don't be worried of the don't be afraid of the word no like just go for it and maybe out of a hundred no's you'll get one yes and that's all you need to have a great collaboration so just think about that just reach out to people and I don't think I think it can help and one thing that's fun too is if you do reach out to someone if you're a new business owner and like you you may be smaller and you reach out to someone that has a similar size you guys could help each other grow which that's kind of fun too so um does anyone have any questions yeah that's fine um, if, if anyone has any questions, I don't know, leave them in the comments or you can email me. My, my email is um, hello at plumstreetprints.com. Hey, Sunflowers blog. Thanks for joining. Um, my name is Shannon again, and I own Plum Street Prints and you can follow us on Instagram at Plum Street Prints. And we sell planners and phone cases and art and notebooks and just lots of um, lovely gifts for your life and for your home. And I've done a lot of collaborations. Thanks so much for the tips. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, let me open that for you. I'm so glad that you um, that you came, Allison. Thanks for joining in. Hey, Katrina, thanks for joining. You'll have to watch the replay. Um, we've just been talking about collaborations. Planners would be perfect. Yes, we should collaborate. <laughs> I just created a line of planners at the end of last year. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming in. Yes, wink, wink. <laughs> You'll have to email me, Allison. We'll have to talk about that. But I'm super open to it. I I love collaborating. I feel like it's never been a bad experience, no matter what um, size it is. And if you have, especially if you have people that are hardworking and you know want to get something done together, it can always be super fun. So, thanks so much for following along. I should probably go. My son's gonna be home from school any minute. Have I have a good network? Yes, you have a huge network. I would use that. I bet you have so many great people in there that you could work with too. So anyway, if you're just joining, you'll have to go watch the replay. My name is Shannon. I own Plum Street Prints. We uh, sell phone cases and planners and lots of pretty products that have been featured all over the web and in magazines. And I'm just talking about collaborations. So um, feel free to email me or leave a comment on Instagram if you have any questions. But if not, um, thanks for watching. And I hope to see lots of your collabs going on soon. So have a good day. Bye-bye.